another incident of Chinese incursion, about 250 Chinese People's Liberation Army soldiers entered Arunachal Pradesh's east district of Ameng four days ago. The temporary transgression by the Chinese patrolling party happened in Yangtze, East Kameng district on June 9. However, the soldiers went back within hours. A crossover happened when Beijing had hardened position against India's bid for membership of the 48-member NSG. This is the first known transgression by the Chinese army this year in the region, which China claims is part of its territory. Interestingly, the intrusion took place on the same day when the issue came up for discussion at Vienna on the 9th of June. China's expansionist policy is beginning to cost us very dearly. She stands totally isolated in South China Sea. She is isolated in East, Chi East China Sea, where Japan is a principal enemy of us. In South China Sea, all the smaller countries, whether it be Taiwan, whether it be Vietnam, whether it be Philippines, whether it be Malaysia, whether it be Brunei, are anti her. As far as India is concerned, India continues to be worried about her expansion of policies both on land as well as sea, which has driven India closer to Vietnam, closer to Indonesia, closer to Australia, closer to America, much to the detriment of China. Even the white shipping agreement signed between India and the United States, wherein US will help India give location of all commercial vessels in the Indian Ocean as well as oceans around India's periphery, thereby making India privy to situational and domain awareness goes contrary to Chinese intent and aspirations. China ought to realize that India is no longer an India of 1962. If she does attempt something foolish, she will get a bloody nose much bloodier than what the Vietnamese gave her when she went to teach Vietnam a lesson. You see, the NSG end game is on. On one side is China and the, on the other side is United States and India. Lots of moves are going to be made in the interim before the final decision is taken on the 23rd, 24th. China is beginning to realize that it stands isolated. Virtually out of the 48 nations, except for Turkey, nobody else is wanting to back China at this point of time. Turkey too may be prevailed over by America as it's an important member of the NATO. Country.